Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Naif Al-Harbi. I used to work in petroleum companies for three years ago, uh, for three years. And I'm f my, my goal is to reduce the production cost, uh, the, the operation cost for the oil and gas industries. As you can see from the graph on the left side here, the oil and gas prices has dropped down, it's around April 2014 from one above 100 to around 45 uh, dollar per, uh, per barrel. So, as you can see, for a country like who's producing this oil, for example, Saudi Arabia, whose re his income is relying in this oil and gas, so the, the margin profit has been reducing like for a number of times, and their budgets severely affected this based on this oil and price reductions. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to reduce the production, uh, the operation cost that caused uh, f from this one. So for saving a single dollar, for, uh, as example for Saudi Arabia, whose operation cost is cost around 8.98 dollar per barrel, saving one dollar, that's mean 12 millions per day annually is around over three trillions. So this is, this is what happened by, by, this is the conventional coating that has been used for the oil pipes, for the oil and gas industry everywhere for the last 30 years. Uh, this coating, I'm trying to replace in this, I'm trying to replace this coating by a new coating who's recently has been used, what is nanostructured coatings. This has been a proven experimentally that is a, it, it will give a good chance for increasing the surface life of the coatings. That means instead of replacing this coating every three or four or five, or five years, we can replace, uh, doing the, the coating replacement, surface life for it is around six or seven years. That means we're going to save a lot of money from the operation cost that come from it. So, uh, also, we're going to do, I'm going to do laser treatment. I'm not going to stop just by replacement the nanostructure. I'm going to do the laser treatment. The laser treatment, it has a lot of benefits that, uh, to get rid of some coating uh, problems like the porosity uh, that uh, un unmelted particles. This most of any coating that we are separated by thermal separate, it has this problems like the porosity, some unmelted particles. Also, there is a mechanical bonding between the coating and the substrate. So I'm trying to enhance the coating as a second stage of this research. So this is some results has been published by by a conference paper some time ago. As we can see from the top surface and the left side, this is the coating before the laser treatment. As you can see, there is some unmelted particles. After doing, after doing the laser treatment, it's the smooth surface and we don't have any unmelted particles. That means the coating will be more denser, so it will resist it will have high resistance for the corrosion especially because this porosity will create a path for electrochemical reactions which will affect the pipelines of steel and corrode it for, for a short time. And this is another th thing. This is the substrate here. As we see, this is the pipeline that has been used. And this is the coating on the top. As we can see before the laser treatment, there is mechanical bonding. Mechanical bonding that the contact between the substrate, the pipelines, and the coating, uh, the band strength is very, very low. So by the laser treatment, as you can see from the right here, it's become like compacted interface. That means the coating surface life will be, will be longer, uh, and the band strength, and there is no delimination will happen that by the higher pressure sometime that happen inside the pipelines. That's caused by the corroding, and also you can see the porosity itself. From the left here, before the laser treatment, you can see there is a lot of porosity. That there is the gap that we can see. It's almost 1.53 percentage. And after the laser treatment, we can see the porosity has been reduced by almost 100 percent. Also, another things, 
if you can see from the left side, before the laser treatment, there's an homogeneous distribution of the coating. That means some elements is, is, uh, is uh, focused in some regions, and another region is another different element. So after the laser treatment, you can see it is just it's almost one color, all the, all, the, all the microstructures. Also, the porosity has been reduced. Uh, thank you for listening, and any questions?